A key component to understand when talking about network management is the differences between a monolithic or a microservices-based architecture. When you're talking about a monolithic architecture, you can think of it as a, a single fixed footprint server that incorporates all of the network services in one container. If something were to break or go down, the entire network management platform would crash. On the other hand, a microservices-based architecture is a collection of loosely coupled services that can both operate independently or in conjunction with one another. We can compare this to a restaurant, for example. In a monolithic type architecture, you have your servers, you have your chef, your host or hostess, maybe your manager that's walking around. If one of those people called in sick, the entire restaurant would need to close. That's similar to a monolithic management architecture. On the other hand, microservices, you think of that same restaurant, you have the host or hostess, busboys, waiters, you have the chefs in the back, the general manager. If one person called in sick, someone else could increase their workload to take over that position. Or for example, if more and more patrons started coming into the restaurant, you can simply increase your productivity with the same resources. You wouldn't have to shut the restaurant down in order to serve all of those users or people coming into the restaurant. You can think of the same thing, apply that to the concepts of networking. Microservices is a lot more scalable, reliable, and redundant. And so that's what we're encouraging end users to adopt as a microservices-based network management system. Typically, again, they're more scalable, more resilient, they're based on modularity, and they're typically API-driven, which I'm gonna cover in a subsequent course.